We are looking at atomic concept questions from the 2015 chemistry regents exams. Let's get started. Okay, so here's more information above question 5 or what I wrote in as question 5. And let's take a look. We're looking for the number of neutrons in an atom of a uranium isotope used in this breeder reactor. It's not coming from this equation. It's actually here in the reading passage. We're dealing with uranium-238. 238 is what's called the mass number. That's the number of protons plus neutrons. We need to know the number of neutrons only. So what does that mean? That means we need the atomic number as well. So you got to go to the periodic table to find the atomic number. So let's go ahead and do that. Here it is all the way at the bottom, uranium, and the atomic number, which is the number of protons only, is 92. So I'm going to go back, and I need to subtract 92 from 238 to get my um, number of neutrons, which is 146. Don't do this without a calculator. So 146 is neutrons. Let's take a look here at the bottom. Okay, for the bottom here, we have a reading passage, we have a diagram, and then we have questions. So let's take a look. For question 6, state the atomic number and the mass number for this element in this question. Again, you need to know definitions. Atomic number is the number of protons only. Your atomic number here, given above the diagram, is 4. For mass number, mass number is protons plus neutrons. So for mass number, we're going to take 4 plus the 5 for a total of 9. Let's move on to question 7. State the number of electrons in each cell, um, I'm sorry, each shell in this atom in the ground state. Well, if you don't have memorized the way the electrons would fill up the atom, and more than likely you don't. What you need to do, of course, is go and look at the periodic table. Now, atomic number, remember, that gives you the element's identity. I call it the element's social security number. It never changes for an element. So atomic number four, I'm going to go ahead and take a look. And where am I looking? I'm finding four. Here it is. It's beryllium. And now the question was asking about the layout of electrons which is my electron configuration. So I'm going to come on back, and the number of electrons in each uh, shell, now it says to state the number, so the first shell contains two electrons, and the second shell contains two. Just write it out in a sentence. Finally, in question eight, it says using the Bohr model, describe the changes in elect electron energy and en uh, electron location when an atom changes from the ground state to the excited state. So what ends up happening is the electrons move further away from the nucleus when they go from the ground state to the excited state, and the energy increases. So however you want to say that, that's fine. Just remember it says to describe the changes in electron energy. So the electrons gain energy, and the electrons are moving further away from the nucleus. You have to state both in order to get the credit. Let's keep going. Okay, final question here under atomic concepts for 2015, the short answer questions. We're back once again to a correct numerical setup for calculating atomic mass. Again, this is the second time it showed up as a short answer. It pretty much shows up on every exam, and I came up with this little equation here, which if you write it down and plug things in exactly as you see them, you'll never get it wrong, but you do need to practice. So I have my average atomic mass. And what am I going to do? I need the atomic mass of isotope 1, which is 120.90. I'm going to multiply that by the percent, which is 57, and I'm going to divide by 100. And then I'm going to do the atomic mass of isotope 2, which is 
0 0.90. I'm going to multiply that by 43 over 100, and that gives me a correct numerical setup. This is NY Chem Coach. Keep practicing questions to get yourself ready for your Regents exam.